everyone! Welcome back to my channel! Um, in today's video, we're going to design a stylish, minimalistic business card for Cat Cafe. I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to walk you through the entire process. By the end, you should have a card that's not only visually stunning, but also perfect for your own projects. This tutorial is beginner friendly, so whether you're new to Illustrator or just looking for fresh ideas, you're in the right place. Now, keep in mind that this tutorial is just to help you get started on how to do the right things to make a business card. By no means is this design focused entirely on every little design process that exists out there. It's a beginner friendly thing. So just try and keep up, pause if you need to, and try to make something unique to you and not follow exactly how I do it. All right. Let's get started. So first we're going to create a new document. We're going to go file new. You can also do control N. We're going to go into print, pick the inches and then set our standard size to 3.5 inch by two inch. This is a standard business card uh, size. One of the things that's important when you're making a business card is to add a bleed. So in this situation, we're going to add 0 0.125 inch bleeds all around the card. Um, this is to avoid issues during printing and it's to ensure that our design will extend to the edges without any white borders. So after that, we're going to make sure it's in CMYK. We're at 300 PPI. And I want two artboards because we're going to do the front and the back. And then we're going to press create. And there you have it. Here's where we're going to start. So as you can see, I went ahead and set up a couple of things to get me started. I picked out some colors. I picked out some visual ideas that I want to add to my business card. And I picked out my um, social media that I wanted to publish on this. So we're going to start with the front of the card. I'm going for a clean and minimal look with the cafe name, the logo, and some fun themed accents. So I'm going to use the rectangle tool to create the background. I'm going to make sure to go all the way out to the bleed and I'm going to pick this um, creamy color that I have already picked out. And then we're going to add the logo. So I, I got this on free pick. It's not something that I created. I really wanted to make something simple. So I'm just going to remove that part. I'm going to add the logo to the front like this. And I'm going to pick uh, this brownish color. So we're already at a point where, look, there's an issue. You see, the logo is nowhere to be found. This is because it's on a layer beneath the cream color. So what you're going to do if this happens is you're going to right click, you're going to go to arrange and bring to front. You can use a shortcut. I personally just use the right clicks. I'm used to working that way. People use shortcuts. It's really all in the method that you want to be more used to. Um, I do recommend learning shortcuts. I know a lot. There's some that I don't know. But like I said, it's really a personal preference. So I added it to the front. Um, I'm going to um, align it to the center of my artboard. So I'm going to go up here and click on the horizontal align center. And then we're going to add um, the name of the cafe. So for this, I'm going to use the name uh, Perfect Pause Cafe. So I'm going to make a text box right underneath here. And I'm going to use Perfect Pause Cafe. And the font that we're going to go with is, I think I had picked out Pacifico. These are very basic uh, fonts. Like I said, there's nothing really fancy about them. Um, I'm just going with what feels right. Now you're seeing me do a lot of things. 
I'm used to working a certain way. My text box is made, but I want it to be centered. Like, so this is one of the ways you can do it. You just make the box the width of your card and then you put it underneath. Um, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to put this brown as well. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller up here and center it. Put this here. And then I'm going to add the tagline, which is where coffee meets, where coffee and cats meet. And I'm going to make another box. Like I said, I'm doing it this way. Nothing is forcing you to do it this way. It's really just um, my way of doing things. There's easier way of doing things. You just have to find what is good for you. Um, everybody has their own methods to doing design when it comes to their workflow. Just always use the workflow that's most efficient for you. Right now I'm making a tutorial. I'm not really here to teach you how to remember how your key binds uh, and like I'm not there for that. I'm just trying to help you create a business card if you've never made one, if you're on a budget, or if you're just simply trying to learn how to work with Adobe Illustrator. So have fun with it. Don't be stressed out. Just enjoy the process and figure it out along the way. If you feel like making those boxes like that is too long, find an easier way to do it. I always think that doing things in a harder way at first makes it easier to find easier way to do it but if that easier way gets destroyed or taken away at least you know how to do it the hard way so um this one i'm going i don't know if i have this font yes i have the quicksand font so i'm going to go with quicksand regular and i'm going to make it smaller so right now it's about nine is that okay mm. So as you can see, so we made like this little, it's really cute. It's really to the point, uh, but it is missing some elements, right? We're, we're, it's not really like it's saying catty, but it's not really saying like, oh, this is a cafe, right? <laughs> we don't really see that information at the moment. So just give me a second here. Um, yeah, so I had to cafe name I added the tagline and what I want you to remember is that readability is key we don't want the text to feel cramped so um, I'm just making sure that everything fits together and it's perfectly not perfectly spaced but spaced out in a way where we understand what's going on okay um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add these elements once again it's in the back. So what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to click on my background and just send it to back. I'm not going to keep these like that. Um, let's see if I can add. And then we're going to transform and we're going to reflect. Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we're just going to go with it for now. I could do something more like this. And maybe put cat paws over here. Put them the same color. And we're going to change the opacity to the same, so 32. Okay. If you want to look at your design without the bleed, um, something that you can do is go in view, go trim view, and it's going to remove everything. So you get a little bit more, get an, a better idea of what's happening. So I'm not really pleased with this, um, but I don't like it here neither. Mm, if I do it like this maybe, and then maybe move it around. Maybe add another one at the top. Um, I'm right now. I'm trying to balance out the design. 
um, trying to make sure that it stays interesting. I don't want to overdo it neither, but like it needs to be understood that this is a cafe where there's cats. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Remove this to the side. I'm going to turn this one a little bit more. And there we have it. I think I'm going to... Hmm. Do I want to do it like this? See, this is too much. If you're looking at it, this is way too much. I don't like that at all. So maybe just keep it like with this one. Keep it simple. Um, but keep in mind that it is a fake. So, oops. I'm a I'm a sucker for alignment. <laughs> so as you can see here, like my designs are all aligned to the bottom of this little cap. I'm also a big sucker for space between items. So what I like to do to make sure things are balanced is make sure that the space between things is similar. So see right now it's not really working out. So maybe if I place it like this. I hate this new bar. Um, maybe not. I'm not completely satisfied with this. I'm not gonna lie. I'll leave it like that for now. Maybe if I lower these a little bit. Oh, see, that's not too bad. So I didn't align it with that, but what I am going to align it is to the top part. Like that. And then align these two together. Like that. All right. So now that we have the front done, like I said, keep in mind that you want readability. You want to make sure that people can read. Elderly people, if that is your persona, they're going to have trouble reading things that are under 10 points. As you get older with age, it gets harder to read things. So that's why we need to have um, fonts that are easily readable. In this situation, What's important to know is that it's the perfect pause cafe. And then I want them like to see the slogan. So once that is done, um, we're going to do the back of the card. So the back of the card in this situation, depending on your budget, you, the back of the card in this situation, depending on your budget, you can leave it completely white. Or you can just go back with the cream selection that you've made and just keep it that simple. I don't um, recommend darker colors for business cards. And the only reason I do that is because when they cut the cards, um, sometimes the edges, they're, uh, how can I say this in English? The edges like can get nicked or stuff like that and the white of the card if it's not a, a colored paper is going to show really easily so i always go with a lighter color unless the card is the the paper of the card is colored in general but that usually is more expensive so try to remember that when you're creating your design that the edges of the card depending on the thickness and stuff like that can be nicked and we don't want that to like look um, unprofessional. Now for the back of the card, I'm going to be adding all of the business information. Um, I'm going to keep this like a really balanced design and I'm going to use uh, the negative space, which keeps the layout clean while adding more important details. So unlike a normal business card for like a person, um, in this situation, it's a business, so I'm not going to make it um, overly complicated. I did just make up the information, so please do not uh, call or go to these websites. This is all made up. It's purely made up information. Um, and I'm just going to remove what I don't need from information. Oops. And then I'm going to delete this. All right. So once again, I'm using the, the quicksand font. 
Um, it goes well with the Pacifico uh, font in itself. Uh, we do not ever want to go under 10 in most cases. Um, in French, we do have very, very, very specific rules when it comes to um, information that is placed on business cards, or but I don't know about English, so it would be up to you to kind of figure out what you need to do. So for the um, address and the phone numbers, I'm going to make it a little bit bolder. I'm still going to go with uh, the brown. I don't really feel the the pink. Well, I mind you, it's not bad, but and I'm really not going to go with the green. I picked them out, but I think just the brown, black, it works. And in any situation, I just want to let you know, like right now, I'm going to go back to just using the brown here and changing this to 32 again, or maybe even lower than that. Holy. So while the pink is cute, just remember that the more colors you have in a design, the more expensive it's going to be. So don't go overboard with um, colors. Really don't. Keep it simple and um, minimal. So I'm going to add some little designs here. Um, the black is a bit much. I'm still gonna go with this and I'm gonna go with the 15 again and um, oops I'm just gonna pick these two I'm gonna take this information take out so I only have the address up here and then I'm going to add the social media here and I'm going to align it to the right. Um, keep in mind when you're designing a business card, you always want to leave at least a border between your text and the edge of the card. So about the same amount as your bleed. So 0 0.125. And we're going to put that there. I think these circles are nice, but I don't think like we don't have them anywhere else. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick these two and simply place them here. They're in the back, I think. I don't know. They're fine. And I'm going to put the accent color. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Put it down here. Smaller. And then bring it down. Now, don't be afraid to zoom in. Um, I like to have my rulers out usually and really be careful when it comes to placing things. Um, while this is kind of small, I do like to balance things out to the best of my ability. Um, and I'm just wondering here if I want to align this to just put it here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to select all of these and group them together to make them a little bit bigger and place them like this. I'm going to put the same amount of room of space up here that I did down here and to the side. So again, this is where your rulers come in. I'm going to place a ruler here at the edge like that. Make sure that this is aligned there. We're going to make it a little bit bigger. Like that. And I'm going to make sure that the height that I have down here is the same at the top. I'm very specific when it comes to my uh, rulers. Um, even if I'm going very quickly right now. So what I do is I click on it and then I align it to the top. So I know exactly where it's going and then I just drag a ruler down and I place the top of my font where I want it. Um, so yeah, so I know that the top has the same 
as the bottom. Um, I still think that this might be a little bit too angled, so I'm going to just do like that. Then I'm going to go to view, I'm going to do trim view, and this is what it would look like. Now, again, this is very, very basic. Um, right now, my focus is on the address. I need to put this a little bit smaller. Um, I could always like put it right here and add like the cat paws to go to the top. But again, this is mostly something that you're going to figure out on your own and how you want it to be placed and all that jazz. I'm, I'm particularly not too picky when it comes to the placement or the disposition of information. It's really mostly that take the time to go through your designs and make a couple of ones and always offer maybe two selections top to your client and see if that's what they like but always make sure that your design is balanced that you're using the space properly that you're making sure that it's readable um, and that the information is well prioritized so in this situation we really just want people to come to the to the cafe so we want them to know the address so if somebody gives a cell it's like hey here's the address and here's the phone number you have that information very quickly so next what we're going to do is we're going to export this so that it's print ready so we've completed our design we're going to export it for printing here's how we do it go to file you export uh, no, sorry. You do save as. I am sorry. I'm too, I'm used to web. So you do save as. Then you're going to do PDF. And let's go at FA IRES 3.5 by 2. So I like to write in um, the information of my business card. And then it's... Uh, I'm going to do it in French. Okay, cool. So we're going to save it as a PDF and then we'll go and save. When we're in save, this is the very important part. You remember that bleed that we put? So um, pick, pick press quality, go in marks and bleeds, check trim marks and check use document bleed settings. If you do not check this, it's not going to use the settings. You can always add them at the end. Um, you can do, but what I don't like about this option is that when your design is made without bleeds, your color might not be all the way to the end of the artboard. So you save PDF. And then when you open your PDF, your this is what you should see. So you can see your crop marks down here, which is what the printer is going to use to cut your business card. And all of this is your bleed, so that's going to be taken off. But it's all the way to the edge, so you know that the color is always going to um, be well aligned with your design. So, um, so that's that for that. And there you have it. A beautifully designed business card for Cozy Cat Cafe. I, I hope this tutorial helped inspire you for your next project. I know it was quick. I know it wasn't as like tutorial-ish as some other things have been, but keep in mind that you need to start somewhere to practice and make something else. So just follow the basic information that I gave you guys and make your own um, business cards. And don't be afraid to ask questions in the comments. You don't have to tell me the video like, is not helpful or stuff like that if you have questions because i missed something or you're wondering how i did something just ask the question if i can improve and you want to be constructive please uh leave a comment and i will really appreciate it but make sure it stays con uh, constructive so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more design content and thanks for watching i'll see you next time Bye bye